625 now. The techniques of bonsai dates back to the 6th century. This morning, Craig Coffee gets up close and personal for this unique style of shaping and growing these real-life works of art. Good morning, Craig. Yeah, hey guys, Justin. I'm going to try and wire you and grill you a certain way, and just uh, you know, no problem. Yeah, you can, you can you can change me. Is that right? Good. Okay. Thanks a lot. Yes, we're here. This is Steve Alford. Good morning to you. Good morning. With SNS Bonsai, the website's on your screen right there. Go ahead and check it out. BonsaiToolChest.com. He actually teaches this ancient art of uh, creating these bonsai trees. And again, bonsai is the art of creating these trees. It's not a specific right. tree. Okay, so that's the cool thing we learned so far this morning. Now, we're talking about um, what you actually do when you are creating a bonsai tree. We, we've done something a little quickly here that you would normally wouldn't do. A little quicker, skip a step if you might. But you took this out of this pot that you would find at a, let's say, at a nursery. Right. Okay. Norm normally you would leave it in the pot and style it and wire it while it's in the pot. Okay. You say for, for about a year you leave it in For about in a year. Let it recuperate from what you did. Okay. Then pot it. Okay. And when you took it out of the pot, you actually, you, you kind of scraped off a lot of the dirt, the soil right. around the roots, and you actually wire tied this tree inside this new pot right okay and what does the wire do it uh, as the roots grow yeah it could push the pot up and out of the tr okay. pot and not look good okay. so the wire holds it into the pot now does that also keep the roots from expanding and growing therefore the tree won't grow more well the wire doesn't but that's what the pot does yeah right okay. the, the pot itself uh, keeps the, okay. the tree small now what about the soil because you say the soil is a little different than what the we're soil used to. is different from uh, regular soil it's a lot like cactus soil that you would see in a store okay but it's uh, lava pumice and uh, turfus basically is the ingredients wow okay. and then some compost in there to keep it moist okay so not a whole lot of dirt then no really okay no. so then you'd, you'd put this in yep. here then we're going to shake this in here and kind of pat this down yep and we want to work it down into the when you roots. when you do these trees this you're really kind of creating this bond and relationship with the tree you're working on right yep because this can go on for a long time long to long create time. the the perfect tree yep. or the tree you want yep like years right absolutely and okay. it's a changing art form so within a few years you're going to have to start all over again wow that same tree yep. interesting now let's talk about this quickly here let's talk about why you wire a lot of these trees have wires this helps in the growth it, it helps in the styling, the manipulation okay. and styling, and it's forcing the tree to go where you want it to go, okay. to become that art form that you're trying to make out of it. Okay, fantastic. So you can really create what, you, it's a blank canvas kind of, so to speak. Pretty much. Pretty you're not, much, you're yeah. not dependent on the tree to go where it goes. You can actually control yep. that. Yep, definitely. You, you look for a tree that is kind of there where you want it, and then you finish it the rest of the way. Okay. You look for that tree within a tree okay. kind of thing. So we talked about how bonsai tree can be any kind of tree on the way next this hour. We're going to show you a tree in the wild would usually grow about 250, 300 feet high. You have it to about two feet. Two feet. Two feet. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. That is coming up next. Back to you guys in studio. Can't wait to see more of this. I love the whole bonsai thing. Thanks, Craig. 644 is your time now. The art of bonsai is about more than just planting a tree, pruning it, and hoping your latest garden venture thrives. You have to wax on and then wax yes. off. That's what you do. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> this morning's segment, Craig Coffey, our Zen Master, the senior Zen Master correspondent, is live talking about this exercise of contemplation, effort, and ingenuity. It's all it's part. all there, Craig. Good. Good morning, grasshoppers. Yes. yes. Wax on, <laughs> wax off. Right, Steve? Wax on, wax off. That's right. All right. Thanks a lot. Yes, we're here. S and S Bonsai talking about this amazing ancient art that goes back a long time. And uh, really, we're talking a long time ago. Oh, 2,000 years at least. At least, yes, for sure. Okay. And we're still doing it today. And uh, the cool part about this is, and we learned this this morning, bonsai is the art, right? right? It's the, is it the technique or the, 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 the style of the tree you create? It, the illusion of age. Okay, the illusion of age. Okay. And so it's not one specific tree that's a bonsai tree. No. Okay, you can create many trees to be a bonsai tree. Many, many trees. Many, many <laughs> trees, different kinds. We have some right here. And even ones that are normally in the wild grow to like 250, 300 feet, you can bring down to a, just a, a couple of feet. Bring them down into a manageable size. Like this one right here, yep. which, is, which is pretty amazing. You actually control the growth of yes. these trees. Yes. Okay. And you do that by the way you, by the way you pot and how the roots grow. Trim or, the roots, cut yeah. down the growth, yeah. keep it small. Very nice. Yep. So it's, it's a pretty uh, 
neat trick to do. This one you actually got from the wild up in the mountains here. This is a spruce tree. Yes. You we, got this out of a rock. We as a club go up on uh, collecting trips once a year between April and May mm -hmm. and you pay uh, the state ten dollars for a permit and you go up and you spend the afternoon digging around in rocks looking for something old and gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> Besides yourself. Yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> kind of like happy hour in some places here in town. Okay, so you, you get this, you do this. So even trees that came from the wild, you can still, I see you put the wire on there, you can still manipulate how you want the growth to go. Oh yeah, that, that is the key part of doing bonsai, manipulating it to the way you want it to go. Very nice. And again, yeah. you know, this is, this is an art that's always, always changing. Always changing. For a long uh, time. What this tree is now will not be the same in two years. It's living art, for yep, sure. And art. you create this relationship where you actually, um, it, it challenges you to grow with the tree as far as how you, what you create and, and right. right. Yeah? Definitely. Are, are yeah. we bonding here? Is something going on? Oh, uh, you know. Something it, magical is happening here, Steve. That's why when we have our groups, it's <laughs> it's a bond between everybody when we uh, sit around and do our trees and we just have a, a, a good old time. Very nice. The website, by the way, it's on your screen, bonsaitoolchest.com. Steve actually does uh, seminars here and teaches people once a month how to start doing this and create this yeah. at home. Yeah? Very nice. On the way, we're going to show you some more cool trees, talk more about bonsai. That's coming up in just a little while back to you guys in studio. Gotta have patience for the bonsai. I did not you know, know that, it, that it was, it doesn't have to be a, an actual tree. It's I pretty know. cool, Craig. Like it's different. So my family of trees, can we make them bonsai <laughs> trees, Craig? You can make those bonsai trees, yes. I love that. You can. You I can. love it. All right, more in the 7 o'clock <laughs> hour. Thanks, Craig.